Welcome back. I'm going to work on some puzzles again. Last time I had got all the way up to 2090 and then failed the last puzzle, so down to 2078. Um, but let's see what we can do. We're going to look for checks, which I do have a check here, but I see that the bishop is guarding that square. Uh, and I have a... Oh, that is that just mate? I think that's mate. Okay. And that puzzle was only 1594, so it, sometimes they give me an easy one. Oh, and the theme, it says past pawns. There is a past pawn, but that is not the theme of this puzzle, so I'm gonna downvote that, and I'm gonna suggest mate in one. Yeah, okay trying to correct the themes. Many of, especially the lower rated puzzles, the themes are really messed up. Um, here I have a couple of different checks, three that I can see. Uh, there's a check, there's a check, there's a check. Um, I'm gonna suggest that the rook is the better of those checks um, because the king's gonna get forced up here. I'm going, no, I was gonna say I wanna go there, but the queen guards that spot. Huh. If I check and the king goes there, I can't follow with this check. I can follow with this check. But then they can block with the pawn. And then I can't come back to check because this uh, rook and queen are guarding that whole rank. So yeah, if I check, first of all, let me discount the other, the, the initial queen checks. If I check here, the, oh, the king just takes it, right. And then that, that really doesn't matter because the king will just get out of the way. Okay. But if I check with the rook first, that's a safe square and the king only has one legal move. That's usually the uh, better checks are the forcing ones, the ones that don't give the opponent any options. The problem with that then is my follow-ups. One follow-up would be this one because now that's a protected uh, check, but the king would just come here. And I don't really have a follow-up for that. I mean, I could bring my queen back over to e8 but then it could just go back to h7. Check, check. What happens when it brings the pawn up? I can take this one, but that's not check at that point. It's okay though, because the opponent would not be able to check me on their next turn. Um, because of where my king is, um, the opponent would need to be here to check and they cannot get there. I mean, they could check here, but that just ends. So check, 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 sorry, check, king moves out of the way to h7, queen check on f5. I believe the only legal move at that point would be to move the pawn g6 in which I would capture f6 but that's not check it's just setting up mate because my next move would be there and that would be no that wouldn't be mate because they could block with the rook I, I've got to do it uh, this one obviously is more complicated than that first puzzle so I'm gonna check with the rook okay again only legal move so I have two choices to check. I don't have any choices of captures. Pretty sure. I think the queen to g8 check is the least good because the king would come to g6. My only follow-up would be on e8. And then I think it would go back to h7 and then we'd be back here anyway so I think it's better to check here now 
like I said, with the the g7 pawn. So, so queen to f5 check. Okay, it did move g6 as I suspected. I think... I think now it has to be queen captures f6, even though that's not check. Just because my only other follow-up checks are here and here, both of which lose the queen, or here, which loses a rook, or here, which loses a rook, and a queen, probably. So I think it has to be this. And again, uh, black really can't check me on the next move, so I can wait. But is there anything better? Oh, you know what I said? The rook could block, but that's ridiculous. Um, my queen is going to be right next to the king. So once I take this, I think the only defensive move for black would be here. It will keep me from moving to h8. And then what would I do? I capture on f6, rook blocks my path to h8, which is where I would need to go to for mate, which they can't block once I'm there. What would I do after the rook gets to g7? Because at that point, oh no, the queen still couldn't check here because of that. Okay, so I'm, I've moved my queen, let's, a, let's say to capture it on f6, the rook goes to g7 to keep me off the mate square. Then what do I do? Then I think I can try to circumvent the rook by going around, maybe. But again, I don't think they have any counterplay other than defense at this point. So I'm going to try it. Okay, and it did what I thought. But now isn't, isn't this the correct path? Can't, they can't stop that. I think. Because that just loses the rook. This just loses the queen one of two ways. This just loses the queen one of two ways. So I think it has to be this preparing mate on h8. And I don't think they can stop that. Okay, that was it. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm almost as high as, as my previous high, which is 2090. One more puzzle and I will be at an entirely new high. All right, let's keep going. Wait, I've solved two puzzles and we're not even to 10 minutes yet. Good for me. Okay. White has moved a rook over to put me in check. I cannot capture because these pawns move forward, uh, not backward. I cannot block because I don't have any pieces that can get there and pawns don't move sideways unfortunately. So the only choice is to move out of the way. I can't go either side because this pawn uh, has blockaded those. Two choices. Um, H4 or F4. H4 looks a little... No, H4 is very bad because that would be made. So I can't go to h4. So this seems cut and dried. I have to go to f4, right? Because again, I can't block, can't capture the checking piece, and going there results in checkmate. So I have to go to f4 in order to stay on the board. OK. Well, one of my next moves was going to be check, forcing the king down, but um, I, I think here we just take, don't we? And then they put another rook there, and then I check. I think. It's either take the rook or, or take this other pawn. 
or I guess join my rooks together. So I have basically three choices here. Actually, I don't have to move that right now because it's protected, interestingly enough, by the pawn. I could check. The king cannot come forward because my king blocks that spot. The king would be forced to either h1 or h2. Sorry, h1 or g1. <laughs> I sometimes forget which ones are ranks and which ones are files. <laughs> okay. I could check. That's an option. And it's more forcing than trying to uh, play with this counterplay. So if I check, king retreats, because it has to. Um, I could then go here, setting up mate. Once, once uh, the white king is on one of these two squares, then I even if they took this, I could check and uh, they would only be able to block and I would take it and that would be checkmate. So I, I'm leaning toward not capturing this or moving out of the way. I'm leaning toward just, uh, just checkmate. But I don't know if that's better. I do know that means they can't do anything with this at that moment. I could also take this pawn this way, protecting the rook. But I'm going to check and cross our fingers. That was it. Okay. Now, again, if I move here, I'm setting up checkmate on the back rank unless the king moves. If I put my king on g3, uh, obvious. I think their obvious best move would be to move their king, to stay out of the opposition. Um, that's the idea of moving the king here, is that my king would cut off the three squares between us, so when the rook goes down, that king has nowhere to go. So if I moved here, again, the rook wouldn't capture, the king would move over. And then... And then, I don't know. What if I moved here? No, 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 no. I don't know. Oh, this is hard. I could check again, but uh, the king can just come back. I really want to put my king forward on one of these two squares. The question about which square, the reason I was considering this one, even though it's not opposition, is that if the king came this way, that would be opposition and that would be mate. If the king went that way, then I could go this way and it would have no choice, but to, uh, it would, because the opposition doesn't matter so much uh, when you're in the corner because there's nowhere to go uh, to the other side. That's uh, that's why I was thinking of coming here because then this would be a pointless move and if it went that way I would go here and it'd be nearly over. Another reason to move the king to f3 instead of g3 is that if the rook didn't if the rook uh, did not take then and when my other rook came down my king would be guarding the e2 square, but I don't know if that's a, even going to come into it. If the rook takes now, after I move my king forward, I, I just take it back with the pawn, right? But then they would have a check here. Okay. Mm, they get harder. So I have multiple options. And I don't think any of them are really bad options.
but it wouldn't be the puzzle wouldn't have continued to this point if if there wasn't just one definitely better move at least according to the engine that's how these things work i have discovered when i analyze afterward for example like picking up this free pawn if that's not the answer to this puzzle it's because there's something wrong with that so what is wrong with that to taking the pawn with either one of these rooks if i take it with this one I'm st I'm like basically still guarding my other rook. So what's white going to do if I take this? They're going to trade rooks, I think. I don't think they have many other choices. Or what would white do if I if I moved my e rook up to e2? Or a rook to e2? setting up a check which would force the king to come up a rank and then another check would be made that looks good what's but say in that case i think white would take this rook and then i would take back i think also in a game i would be worried about this pawn because uh if i don't end this soon White's just going to take that pawn and then be aiming at this one from there. I'm going to pause and, and think without wasting video time. I thought about it some more. I, I've One of these rooks taking this pawn, but I don't need to be worried about that pawn. It's got three moves to promotion and it doesn't promote with check. So I don't think the puzzle's going to go on long enough for that pawn to be an issue. And also, I am in a position to harry, harass, chase, and check this king. They're not in a position currently to do that to my king. So I think it has to be something chasing their king, either with my king move or a check. Um, or one other option I had considered, which is to move my e-rook to e2, or the other rook. It's got to be one of those. I can't worry about this pawn, which isn't going anywhere anyway. And I can't worry about this pawn because it's going to need three moves to promote and then a fourth move to do anything dangerous. Plus, I'm behind it. I'm and guarding the promotion square for, if I leave this rook on this file, on the A file. So I think it has to be either the one of the two king moves that I suggested or a check. Not this check, because that would just lose a rook. White's rook covers that square through mine. Because once I move there, the rook won't be in the way anymore. So it's amazing how many beginners actually don't realize that, that this rook is also guarding the squares past that rook if that rook moves to one of those squares. I, I've even missed it a few times when I first got back into chess. I can currently check, and that precludes the possibility of white doing anything except getting out of check. So there is that. And it keeps the king, it brings the king closer to mine, to one of these three squares. I don't know how good that is. But I do know if I check, they can't do this, they can't do this, they can't advance their pawn if I check. If I move my king... to one of those squares, which I still think has to be the better move, preparing checkmate. I don't know which one's better. They can do, they can take this pawn or this rook or move this pawn. But if I had gone here and they did any of those things, that would be made. If I had gone here and they did any of those things, I could check, I could, uh, what's, the, mm. this is, uh, this is the conundrum and I, and I even paused for about three minutes and, and gave it some more thought, but it's time's running and I've got to make a move. All right, maybe it's, oops, maybe it's just taking this rook. 
Wouldn't that be easier? That gets this rook that it would have to take back, which takes it off of protecting that one. Then I can go after their king. But I'm going to move my king because I... Pretty sure it's one of those two. And for reasons I mentioned earlier, I, I, I think F3 is better. Because G3, the king can move. Would have to. Whereas F3, if it does move, that's mate. If it moves the other direction... Then I come here... But then shouldn't I go there in the first place? And if it does come this way, I have a check here, which drives it away, maybe. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, I'm prepared to see the red X, no matter what happens. I just picked one at random. I could not decide between those two, so I just kind of flipped the coin in my head and I, it was the right one. Okay. And the rook took here. And your instinct and mine would be to snap take back, but that's one thing we're learning about the puzzles is slow the instincts and think about it. And since the king did not move, that's me. Because of the aforementioned opposition, my king prevents their king from coming off the back rank. So once I check on A1, their only legal move will be to block, and then that's made. New record. Okay, I'm going to switch to the analysis board because I want to see what was wrong with G3, F3. Okay, at the beginning of the puzzle... Black did uh, white did that, which is a huge blunder. Before that, it the evaluation says we're dead drawn. They need to put the the H rook on e7 because right now it's kind of trapped back there, not doing anything. But the whoever was playing with white blundered mate in five. Seeing a check, they saw a check here. I think I think I would have checked with the other rook if I was going to check. But I don't what do I know? Oh no, they maybe they saw that black might go there and then that would be made. Okay, but we made the right move here because we saw that going to h4 would be made. So we went to f4. And then they did at this point um white did their best move which is to threaten this rook. Okay, it says we go back to drawn if I move to F3 here. Okay, well, I wasn't going to move to F3 there at this point. Here is where I checked correctly. Because I saw that the king couldn't come back. It would be forced to the back rank. H1 or G1. And it, and it did choose one of those. Now, okay, now here... F3 is not even one of the top choices. Rook to D5 is a takes us back to a drawn or even chances position. Rook to C5 takes us back to drawn or an even chances position. And the reason is because if that gets out of the way, we could go here. And king to G3 was the only move that continues our mating sequence. So what was wrong with F3, which I almost did? That also takes us to a drawn position. In this case, white would capture this rook. And now when I check on a1, the king can get off. Okay, but why did it do that? Why did it capture there? Oh, was there nothing else? Like, 
okay, because if the king moved over there, then I would get to g3 anyway. Okay. That makes sense. So, But I did the right thing. I did go to g3. So here, why didn't the king come over? That's why I hesitated to do this, because I thought the king would just move this way. So what happens there? Oh, I don't need the... Okay, that's what I was missing. I don't need the full opposition here because my other rook is guarding this file. Okay, that's what I was missing. Hooey! Thank you for watching. We figured it out. And we made it to 2093 with three in a row. All right.